is the most valuable tool or the most essential tool that a welder fabricator type of guy can have? Well, a little bit of that depends on what kind you're doing, but if you're dealing with any kind of dirty material at all, one of the most essential tools is right here. It's the good old four and a half inch grinder, angle grinder you might say. And this one is one of them in my collection. And uh, this is kind of the granddaddy right here. And this was uh, left behind by my son when he had his business. This runs many miles back of his service truck, used by all of his guys. It's one of the survivors, and I've used it for quite a few years since. Still works pretty good. And, uh, you know, the little dog that you engage to get the grinding wheel off, uh, it doesn't engage real well, but I still use it quite a bit. This is, this is the senior citizen of my grinders. Yeah, here's another one. This one is a little cheap $10, I don't know where I got it, maybe Menards or something. A uh, little $10 grinder, uh, doesn't have much power, but I just use it with a flat disc and it works pretty good for that. Just a little bit of polishing and cleaning up. Pretty light duty. And here's, here's my favorites at the moment. Uh, this is a Harbor Freight Hercules and I bought this one and I found out it worked pretty good. It's a 7 amp, so it's, it's reasonable. I liked it so well. I bought another one, so I've got two of them. This one's got a regular disc on it, um, braced disc, and you can really remove some material with that. And this one has a thinner blade for just for cutting off. So that's those. And then I was at a pawn shop and I found this little prize. This is the this is the D-wall here. And, uh, yeah, I bought it at a pawn shop, had a pretty good price on it, brought it home, hooked it up with a wheel, plugged it in, started doing some grinding around for probably eh, five minutes, and it started vibrating all over the map. And uh, I think the bearings are bad in it. And so it's out of commission. One of these days I'll rebuild it. So that wasn't that good an investment. So... There you have it. I have five, actually four in use, and they're in service, and uh, this one here that needs to be fixed. But uh, if you're doing any kind of fabricating or welding or uh, even some other types of uh, work, these, are, uh, they, these get my vote for the most uh, valuable tool, underappreciated as they are. This is Mike signing out. And here's what I've been doing rather than uh, making videos recently. We spent a week up at uh, Minnesota in the Bemidji area fishing and golfing. And then uh, just this weekend, we had a nice long four or five days with my kids and grandkids. And boy, I miss them already. So have a good one. Catch you later.